Hi guys, it's me, DJ Lady S. Welcome back to December Daily Devotional with me, Sherry. And uh, yesterday's devotional did not get loaded up. I don't know why, but um, I had to run to the radio station and I just realized that it never did load. So I'm going to give you two for this evening, okay? The first one is Philippians 4, 413. And it's titled, Get Your Wanter Fixed. And let me just read a verse, Philippians 4.11. I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. And again, I'm getting this out of the um, Our Daily Bread devotional collection, which I purchased from Walmart about a week or so ago. And it's broken down like this. I know some of you just have never seen these. So um, your, your dates are up here. It gives you the date the the month and the day to read it and then you have your your inspiration and what the topic is and then you have your your bible verse and then um or you know the address where it is and then the bible verse and then there's like a little parable a little story for you to kind of relate to to understand to break down what the topic is about and so just briefly in a nutshell meaning get your wanter fix means it's okay to want things but keep it in perspective and again, it reverts back to what I was saying a couple of days ago, that um, it's okay to have things, but don't let them rule you. God, you know, blesses us with these things that make us happy, but as long as we don't put them before God and we don't, you know, worship these things that we have and live for things. So it's okay to, to have things, but you have to keep it in perspective, moderation for everything. And um, let me just read this little quick phrase here to you, this little paragraph here. During this season of the year, when shopping and buying often takes center stage in so many countries and cultures, why don't we decide to focus on being satisfied in our present circumstances? It may sound difficult, but Paul, the Apostle Paul, when talking about learning to be content, said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, verse 13, and this is so true. Like I was saying before a couple of days ago, we get so caught up at Christmas time of, you know, trying to get out there and spend money that we really can't afford to spend, or we're comparing what our friends and other family members are buying for each other, and so we're trying to keep up with them and compete with them, or basically, you know, you might see your neighbor you know, with a new car, or they're getting ready to go on a cruise, or, you know, they bought their kids a car, and they all have the latest, greatest, you know, electronic gadgets and everything, and, you know, you may still have a flip phone. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't try to live up to their standards that they have, because unless you're willing to go through and put through whatever they are going through to, to live the life they live, then don't even try to keep up with them. Fix your wanter. Have control over the things that you want. There's nothing wrong with wanting. That's called having goals and things like that. But if you have to rob Peter to pay Paul because you're trying to buy this item or go do this thing that you know you really shouldn't do and listen to that inner voice, then you shouldn't do it. It's not coming from God. But God will make available the things that we really want. There's a difference between our needs and our wants. So always make sure that you take care of your needs because if you take care of your needs, you can clearly go after your wants, but if you have to rob from your needs to get a want, that's not good. So just be a little more cautious, a little more, uh, pay more attention to what you want versus what you need. And again, there's nothing wrong with wanting things, but, you know, in moderation. I have a list of things that I want. And then, you know, I have my needs, you know, pay our mortgage, pay our car payment, pay our insurance, pay our utilities, put gas in the car, maintain the car, you know, buy groceries. You know, we all have our typical needs, but my list of wants outweigh my list of needs, right? I'm sure just like yours. And I'll write down all kinds of things, anything from down to, say, like buying, you know, nail tips all the way down to uh, wanting a new car. And then after about a couple of weeks, I go back over that list and I, like, start taking things. Up. Look, what did I want that for? See, that was an impulse, you know. No, okay, that can stay. I don't need that. I don't want that. I don't want that. And so the list gets long and it gets short. It gets long and it gets short. It gets long and it gets short. So... You know, there's nothing wrong with it. And then I do actually get some things on my want list, but I don't let it rule me. It's not something that I have to have. I would like to have it, and maybe if I'm supposed to have it, it's going to come in due time. Okay, so before I let you go, let me leave you with this. Help us, Lord, to learn contentment when life is rough. 
Protect us from believing the lie that having more will bring us happiness. May we be content with what you have given. Okay, so let that be your driving force. And also, contentment begins with having fewer wants. So just kind of think about that this holiday season. And just always, always do your best and always try to be a blessing to everyone you come in contact with. Okay? All right, ladies, there you have it. Thank you so much for this time. Stay tuned. I have another daily devotional I want to upload. Okay, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, I want you to be blessed. Bye-bye.